Hi, I'm Peter Hendy, I'm the Commissioner of Transport. Um, it's really good to be able to talk to you at, at this uh, HR conference. I'm sorry I can't be there myself. Of course you need an HR community and you need it to perform well in an organisation that, that, that employs 27,000 people. I think we've moved on a long way. I think there were people in the organisation who were very critical about the service they received from HR in the past and the fragmentation of where it was done and who did it and the differences between uh, between uh, uh, corporate services and, 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 and the sort of HR policy were, 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 were too great. So a lot of that's been resolved. But my view is the HR community is working better than it's ever done before, but of course we need to do better still. We clearly do need a strategy going forward that makes the most of, for the, of the people and for the people who, who work for us. Um, any HR strategy can only be as good as the operational budget and business plan is and needs to adapt over time with circumstances. So we all need to be lean uh, uh, and efficient. We need to constantly remember what it is the organisation is trying to do and for HR and the other support services to, to support it. So clearly the HR community has to be equally adaptable, maybe more adaptable than the workforce at large in order to get the workforce to, to actually respond to the multiple challenges of the business. I do think that means really understanding what your customers want uh, as the, uh, in the operating businesses. It's not the pursuit of HR for its own ends, it's actually serving the operating businesses so that, that, so that they can respond to the uh, financial and operational challenges that, 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 that London poses us every day. So I want you to look after them, I want you to understand what they need. I've got a particular issue which is that HR people need to speak in plain English and explain what they mean and listen to the people who who, who, are who, who, need the, who, who need your services. I think the last thing I'd like to say to, to all of you um, in, in this conference is, is, is thank you. Thank you for the hard work. I know that actually working through Horizon has been really quite challenging. Making changes to the HR organisation at the same time as facilitating change in the rest of the organisation hasn't been easy at all. I know that that's put pressure on a lot of you personally and I want you to know that I and the other senior managers here actually appreciate that. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is we're going to have to carry on working hard and changing because that, that actually is the way in which this organisation ensures that it carries on serving London and Londoners in the way that it ought to. Thanks.